The Perseid meteor shower is triggered by the Earth passing through bits of ice and rock left behind by the comet Swift Tuttle. According to NASA, when you sit back and watch any meteor shower, you're actually seeing the pieces of comet debris heat up and burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. This causes the bright bursts of light streaking across the night sky at 37 miles per second. The Perseids are normally one of the best meteor showers of the year. On a normal year, the Perseids can produce around 100 meteors per hour. However, this year, one pesky factor will limit visibility, the August full moon, which peaks the same night. Now, this doesn't mean you shouldn't try to catch a glimpse, but moonlight will make viewing trickier. To best see the Perseid meteor shower, experts recommend going to the darkest location you can find, sitting back and relaxing. According to Dr. Matthew Whitehouse, the observatory manager at the South Carolina State Museum, the best time to look up is just after midnight. The best time to go out is in the early morning, so midnight or after. Um, and that's really true for any meteor shower is that early morning time tends to be the best. Look toward the north and away from any light pollution. White House also says you don't need any kind of special equipment to view the Perseids. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.